Welcome to the CNBC Politics YouTube channel. This is your host underscore. Today, I'll be talking about Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen's recent testimony before the House Appropriations Subcommittee, regarding the emergency actions taken to back up customers of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. Just a few weeks ago, the Treasury Secretary announced the news that government would backstop the two banks following a major banking collapse. Critics of the action say that the decision only rewards big banks, while smaller, regional banks feel the financial squeeze without any special help from the Treasury Department. Now, Secretary Yellen has assured lawmakers that Treasury is ready to take additional emergency actions if needed, in order to head off potential contagion from these bank failures, and to keep Americans' deposits safe. While she said that the government is not considering any plans to ensure all U.S. bank deposits without congressional approval, Yellen did leave the door open that additional actions may be necessary to preserve large-scale financial stability. Unfortunately, a bill to raise the federal emergency limit of $250,000 across all deposits has already been met with stiff resistance in the House of Representatives. This means it's unlikely that a bill to hike the limit will pass the Republican-controlled House. Let's take a closer look at the situation. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen's initial move to backstop Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank, while likely necessary to prevent an even wider panic, has been met with criticism from both sides of the aisle. Critics of the action argue that it rewards big banks for taking excessive risks, while smaller banks face the financial burden without any special help. Naturally, many Americans are worried about the safety of their deposits and are wondering what, if anything, the federal government can do to head off potential contagion from any future banking collapses. Yellen responded to these worries in her testimony, saying that although the government is not looking at plans to ensure all U.S. bank deposits without congressional approval, Treasury is ready to take additional emergency actions if necessary. So, is the government ready to do whatever it takes to preserve our deposit deposits in the event of a run on a regional bank? It looks like we'll have to wait and see. That concludes our review of Treasury Secretary Yellen's testimony before the House Appropriations Subcommittee. For more updates and analysis on this story, Tune in next time right here on the CNBC Politics YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.